You were in the poopy bathroom, huh? What's a man gotta do? Get a little privacy in his own home? Please. Okay, we have cavatappi, an Italian style pork ragu, red pepper queso chicken, sun dried tomato chicken fasuli, spicy harissa chicken, or fiery beef and black bean chili. Mmm. I'm thinking the spicy harissa chicken. The factor absolutely saves my life. I love, love, love ordering from them. I personally think they are the best meal prep company. They are macro friendly, and the biggest thing about Factor that is different from other companies is it's fresh, never frozen food. So like, you are able to freeze these if you're like, oops, I ordered too many, I'm not gonna get through them this week. You can freeze them, but they don't come frozen. So they're fresh food. It's super, super good. They have so many different recipes. They are chef prepared and dietitian approved, and you can heat them up and they're ready to go in literally two minutes. If you are new into your like fit health the fitness journey or you're just getting into the nutrition aspect and you're like I don't have time to prep my food on the weekends this is phenomenal it's literally delivered right to your door they all come you can choose them on their website you can choose a bunch of different meals and it's just so easy it's so freaking good Oh, 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 it's hot, ow. Tell me that does not look so freaking good. Hey, here's the taste test time. That's so good. That is so good. Factor actually gives me a discount code for you can get 50% off your first box from Factor. You can go to factor75.com and you can get 50% off your first box. Also, I'll have it linked in the description. If you want to check it out, thank you Factor for sponsoring this video. I love you guys. Good morning, y'all. Somebody slept in and somebody, somebody ran eight miles. Who, who is who you'll never guess. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Good morning. I like the way you look. I like the way you look. It's so upsetting. Well, I'm taking from my home. I don't okay. look good. No, I think my favorite look is this look. I want to be a rock star. You squeeze my pressure point. Oh, I love this. <laughs> Live it. <laughs> Okay, listen, I know you're all wondering. Where's your outfit from? I know, I know. It's one of my best. Is it, it is, isn't it? Hi, good morning. You're so cute. Okay, stop biting me. Anyways, this is my self-tan outfit. I self-tan last night. It actually, it did a lot better than normal. I think it's because I did, like, I tried to really layer it on there, but it's not a shower. It's honestly, like, a pretty, like, natural-looking self-tan, which is what I like. It's not orange at all. It's, like, very brown. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, I was supposed to run this morning with everyone, but Paige texted and was like, I'm not gonna get home until super late last night, so I'm not gonna run this morning. And I was like, that's my out. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, I'm gonna sleep in a few hours and then go running around like 8 or 8.30, which it's 8.30 now, so I have to get ready and stuff, but we have five miles today. This is week two of marathon training. Week one was pretty good. My goal for this training program, so like we obviously train for the ultra marathon, so I've done this whole training program before, but my goal in this one is to get faster. Like I really want to run, I don't even want to say it online because then I have to like, uh, I really want to run a 3.30 marathon. There, I said it, okay? I really want to run like a vast marathon and that is like a very fast time I'll put the split that I would like need to have or like the pace that I would need to have to run a 330 marathon and it's fast So I'm trying to run faster in all of these runs not crazy fast because your training runs should still be slow However, I do need to run faster than I have been so that's my goal. Anyways, we have five miles today mm -hmm. What do I want to wear a little matching set moment very cute 
Okay, here's the outfit of the day. Both bra and leggings are Lululemon. This jacket is from Abercrombie, the men's section. Just love how like oversized and slouchy it is. These necklaces, this little, what is it called? Initial one is from Kendra Scott. It's their bridal collection. This one's real gold, so it is pretty expensive. And then this one's from Gorgiana. Gorgiana? I don't know how to say it, but I got it off of Amazon, but that's the brand of it. And it is, I think it's gold plated, so it doesn't turn. And it's really good quality, and I love wearing it together like a little stack. I am looking for like one or two more necklaces for like an everyday stack because right now I feel like this is just pretty plain and I kind of want like a chain or something like that. I don't know. We'll see but I think these two go really good together and I like running in them to make me feel kind of cutesy. You just have my hair in a claw clip but honestly I'm not going to wear it like this because it will not stay. And then I have Asic Gel Nimbus. Love these. The socks are Belegas or Belagas. I don't know how to say it but they're the best running socks ever. They're like so cushioned but still really thin. I don't know how to describe it but they're amazing. Sour gummy. So most mornings our house is filled with people like every single morning because pretty much everyone gets here to run at 6.15 or 6.30 like five days a week. So this is very rare that I'm having like a morning to myself, honestly. Anyways, I'm really enjoying this time because I love our friends. I absolutely love our running club, but sometimes always being the hosting house, it's a lot sometimes, you know, like it never feels like you have a lot of privacy. I wouldn't trade it for the world because I love hosting, but like that's how it feels sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just feels like someone could walk into the house at any minute, which I love. I love the chaos, but it's just like, I don't feel like I can just freely live, you know? Anyways, I can't find a frother, but I'm just doing a little tree powder. I'm doing sour gummy today. We just restocked this flavor, so if you've been wanting to try it, try it. It's really good. I like sour gummy a lot. It's actually, I don't know if my taste buds are refining, but like at first I thought this flavor was so sour, and now I'm like, I really like flavor. Like, it feels, it tastes really sweet to me. So this is actually moving up on my list of favorites. Orange Dreamsicle is definitely my top pick. Like that's my favorite and I'm not a big orange girl. Like I really am not. I don't know what about it. I just, I just love it. I literally love it. Yeah, that one's really good. Okay, I've dilly dallied enough. I went to get my headphones. They were dead. I had to charge them for a little bit. I took my pre-workout. I just dilly dallied and now it's time to go. I don't know if you can tell, but I really don't want to run today. Oh, these charge pretty fast actually. I'm impressed. I also never run with headphones on anymore because we're always in a group. Day. She's a headphone girly. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, let's go. So I just finished my run. I accidentally saw my watch point one early, so I'm so annoyed because I didn't track my whole five miles, so that's okay. My mom, her birthday is in two days, so I stopped and got her some Lulu. I don't think she owns any Lululemon, which is crazy because that's like all I own. So I stopped and got her a little set, and now I'm just walking home because I finished my run on the trail, so I a little bit ways to walk home. So anyways. So I left my mic out while I was gone. Big mistake. I thought it was fine. Turns out she ate the entire cord. This is all that's left. Huh. That's it. Why do you have to destroy everything, huh? Why? Why do you do that? My perfect angel boy. And you are just evil. My run was actually great. Like, so great. I think my ending time was around like 8.20 pace, which it actually stopped my run 0.1 early. I'm so mad about it, but I accidentally stopped it. I hit it with my thumb and then I didn't realize it was paused. And then you like, if I touch the screen, it like saves it. And I was like, so it saved it, but it's no big deal because, you know, I was I was pretty much done. It was literally 4.9. But where's my water bottle? I need water. By the way, still going hard on the water. I try and drink about three of those a day. And I'm doing pretty good. Come on, docs. You lost bedroom privileges because you pee on her bed all the time, huh? She loves ice. Ranger doesn't really like ice. Do you want one? Here, I'll give you a little baby one. Maybe you'll eat it. Will you eat it? Or are you gonna spit it out? Oh, okay, you wanna eat it today, all right. She's an ice fiend. Hey, that's his. Oh my gosh, don't just give it to her. So yesterday we had like a total clean house day, but we honestly, we had people come over last night to work out and the house got messy again. So story of our lives. I last week got this thing called a chuck roast. I had no idea how to cook it and it was about to go bad. And I was like, okay, nah, let me just look up a quick recipe. So I threw it in the crock pot with some potatoes and it actually looks so good. I know crock pot meals are like, I feel like all boys hate crock pot meals. I love crock pot meals. So this feels like a very fall recipe as well. And I hope I didn't overcook it. I don't think so. It's kind of like falling apart. Oh yeah, baby. Wow, that's so good. Okay, yum. 
I made that roast and it looks really good. Like it finally looks done. If you, and everyone is welcome to it, so. Well, I'll definitely eat it. Tim's been hating on it, so he won't. Oh, Tim wants some roast now. No, maybe we'll come over. We'll come over and we'll do a team run. Cause I, I picked apart some of it and it looks really good, so. Nice, all right, team lunch at 12.30. Okay, okay. Paige, Paige isn't coming to team lunch, but I'll be there. Maybe Tim will too. Wow, Tim sad. She just drank a protein shake. Okay, I need a protein shake too. Alright, I love you, babe. I'll be over there in a little while. Okay, I love you. Bye. Bye. I, I am so excited. I just got these packages at the door, and one. I actually know what both of these are. I'm so excited. <sighs> okay, this is from Lulu. I'm working with them this month, and I'm just like so freaking stoked because they have so much cute stuff for fall. So we have these like ribbed flare pants. They're so stinking. They're like a charcoal gray color. I thought these were so fun, but I love the flare pants and I love that they're ribbed. Like I think that that is just so cute. I'm very excited to try those on. And then I also got the matching hoodie sweater thing. Very cute. Like that together for fall, that is so cute. So when it starts getting cold, if you need a good long sleeve, especially if you like turtlenecks, I love, okay, that's like my favorite thing to wear these align it's like a mock neck turtle they are so cute and so comfortable and they're very lightweight so for running i like to have a layer on but not super thick because i get really hot when i run these are amazing i will be buying every single color i already have like four colors in these but i thought this new blue color was so pretty so i got that in that blue color and then i also got this exact same style of bra this is my favorite style of bra this and the other thick strapped ones i think it's called like the yoga bra or something so good and they they came out with it in two new colors so i wear them like every day so here it is it's so cute no eating the text thank you for helping though they have two different ones i get the ab because I don't have much to work with up here, but if you have more to work with, they also have a CD cup, I think. And so you can wear this. It's just a bigger cup size, which I just love that they did that. Then this is probably my favorite color that they might have like ever come out with. It's like a rusty red color and it's so, like I love that. It's like a tan, orangish red, just like a burnt color. I freaking love that. I, this is like my favorite color. Let me get the other two things that came in this weekend. This jacket is so cool. It's like their knit kind of, what is it called? Insulated jacquard. I think that's like the print of it. And it's so cool. It's almost like a camo, but it's like a black, blue, gray, that type of vibe. And I got this turtleneck because on the website, they actually had these together like layered. And I was like, I need that. Yeah, uh, I love a bomber jacket. Like that is so cute on. That is so stinking cute. With this blue popping underneath. Yes, yes. I like aligns, okay? Don't get me wrong, but I think they're like Nulu slash Wonder fabric. That's a little bit more um, slicky. I personally like better than like the Align. Um, I don't know why, I just, in the Nulu fabric, I think. Yeah, this is Groove SHR Flare Pants. So they're just like staple flares and they're so cute and they're so comfortable and they feel so stretchy and I'm just so very, very excited about them. Anyways, that's my little Lululemon haul. Now on to the next thing. That's another, this is a really fall haul. Fall, okay, because everything that I'm opening is fall related. <gasps> oh yeah, baby. Ah, I'm so excited. Okay, so this is the mustard seed color, which I have been wanting this forever. I like this light color. Let me show you the other ones that I have. So these are the first pair that I got for fall. I've already kind of worn them in, don't mind that. But they're like a shorter in the back pair, so they're kind of like slip-ons. This is like the traditional, I think, chestnut color. Love these. I then ordered the platform ones in mustard seed. I literally hate these. I will be returning them. Platform just looks so weird on me. I, I'm 5'6", almost 5'7", so I'm like on the taller side. Side. So these I just like look like a gigantor in these. I don't know. It makes my feet look so weird Do not do not like these but they don't make this color in women's So I actually got the men's of a, like the non-platform shorter ones, I guess and I'm so excited Hopefully they look good. Hopefully they're like the same size. Oh Perfect. Are you kidding me? Okay, so yeah fun fact if you want these like non-platform get the men's because that's what I did 
They're literally perfect. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They're so comfy. They're so comfy. 10 out of 10. Oh, it smells so good. The man and his roast. Did you taste it yet? Mm. Oh, you shredded it. Wow, that actually looks so good. I want a bite. Can I take a little bite? Yeah. Let's see. Is it good? Yeah, it's actually so good. Oh, uh, yeah, baby. Yeah. I could use a little more seasoning. Honestly, it's not bad. If it needs more seasoning, do you want the seasoning that I use? I'm not much of a seasoning guy. Okay. I just got out of the shower and I asked on my Instagram, I was like, what do you guys want to see in a vlog? And a lot of the answers were skincare and hair care, which hair, I don't have much advice for that right now, okay? I just, I just, I don't even know what she's doing. Also, I'm getting hair cut on Tuesday though. Maybe I'll vlog, maybe I'll vlog. That's tomorrow, oh my gosh, Tuesday's tomorrow. Maybe I'll vlog tomorrow too. But for skincare, you guys know, I go to Skin Farm, I love Skin Farm, but they don't offer like a ton of like facial, like it's a lot of like injections. So they do like lip filler, Botox, or they'll do like micro needling. So I've gotten that done there, which it does really, really help. But I think I needed like something to clean the pores, that type of facial so I looked up a girl on Instagram and I got a hydro facial with her for my very first time it's like a clarifying one and she sells skin better you've probably seen this brand and to be honest I really feel like this stuff is working I'm using this and then I also use their retinol at night it's called the alpha red it is definitely very pricey like but I'm at my wits end just my acne is just like kind of not great at all <laughs> it's probably the worst it's ever been in my life actually if we're being completely honest so anyways i just wanted to say i think that that face wash is really working well for me so that's what i'm using i am using skin farms high beam which is their like vitamin c moisturizer and i really like it it's really light not super like heavy and oily and it's just really moisturizing and i really like it so those are the only three things i'm doing right now i think i might get a chemical peel probably next week or something because the girl that i'm seeing i can't remember her name i'm blanking on her name no her name's Keely. Her Instagram is Restoration Aesthetic. She's the one who did my hydrofacial and she was like, you need to alternate between hydrofacials and chemical peels until we can get your acne under control. And then you can kind of do like other type of things, but that's gonna get your acne under control is like doing those things, alternating. So I think that's kind of gonna be my game plan is I'm gonna try and do one a month and it'd be like hydrofacial, chemical peel, hydrofacial, chemical peel. They're just expensive. So it's just annoying that I even have to do this. I wish I was just blessed with perfectly clear skin but you know that's just not me right now so anyways that's pretty much it for my skincare right now i also was taking clear sim vitamins for a while and then i feel like they kind of just like stopped working so not really taking them anymore because they worked super super well right off the bat like i it was like incredible but around my fourth bottle i just feel like they weren't really working anymore so i don't know what the deal is with that but that's just yeah i'm just kind of moving on and finding something else that works for me as well so anyways look at this robe that i got from TJ Maxx. It's literally so cute. Like a knockoff of the Barefoot Dreams one, but it's like shorter and not as like heavy. So getting ready, it's it's so cute. And it was like 20 bucks. So find it at your local TJ Maxx. You laying in the bed in the sun. That is so, that is so beautiful. I'm glad you actually like your bed. I feel like anytime I get them beds, <laughs> they never actually use them. So I'm like, when they go laying in, I'm like, oh my God. Okay, here's the outfit of the day. I have to go do some editing. Let me get this latest vlog uploaded. FYI, sorry about the quality. I hit something on my other vlog camera and the settings are just jank, okay? And it ruined the whole video, which stinks, but whatever. These, I know you think they're the Lulu ones. They're not. They're from Aritzia and I'm not kidding. I think they might be better. I can't tell you why because there's really not that big of a difference, but like, I love them. I think it's like here in like the crotch length. I feel like these are a little bit longer. So they're very similar and they're they're pretty much the same price. You know I just wear these like every single day, so. Love them. Okay, well if you know Grace Beverly, her brand is Tala. They're like a sustainable activewear brand and they're, oh, she just makes the cutest stuff. And they just came out with these like minimal bras. It's so cute, it's so cute. And then you can unclip it if you don't want it to be like that. And then from the same line, I got the minimal bra in two colors. And then I got this new little jacket that they came out with. I love this color, this like olive green color. It's so cute. But they came out with these jackets and they are 
are adorable and I love them. You know I love like a good form-fitting jacket. So I'm gonna do this cute cute. Yeah, that's really stinking cute. I love this color. Okay, Miss Grace Beverly. Okay, I see what you're doing. Very cute. Mm, mm, mm. Kill him. Ooh, kill him. Ooh. Very cute. I love this thing. Very, very cute. And then even like open, wearing it like that. It's really cute. Let me just run to Pilates. Let me run to grab a coffee. Anyways, outfit of the day. Baby. Whoa. Whoa! Yum. Red. Okay, I got flower child. I get their shrimp plate. And I get it with their broccoli and their glazed sweet potatoes. They're so good. I know it's so good. Anyways, what did you make, Paris? Please tell us. I made okay, so you know Trader Joe's has those like stir this is a Trader Joe's meal. Okay. So Trader Joe's has the cauliflower rice stir fry veggie stir fry. It's only cauliflower rice and there's some peas and carrots. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Fried rice. Uh sure, yeah. But it's cauliflower style. That put it in a pan, whip it up, add some good volume micronutrients, all the goods. And you put some coconut amino. Oh yeah. Not soy sauce. Okay. Then dice up any protein you had. I had the chicken sausage, also from Trader Joe's. Yum. So I dice that up. Not kind of a we it. kind of weird combo, it's I'm not gonna lie. It's a weird combo, not gonna <laughs> lie. But, cause I've been out of town. And, okay, But fair. then I added one egg. So yeah, really good job. Fried, right? Yeah. And then you put some little, I some crank some pepper and salt mm. and then throw in maybe a cool seasoning. I don't know, but the coconut amino is yeah, that's the key. what hits. And I'm proud of you, Paige. It's a really yummy, healthy lunch. Good job, sister. You know what else hits? Roast beef! Can someone tell me what these white things are? I want shrimp. Mmm, no, no, no. I don't like that. I don't know what that was. Yeah, I don't like that. I hope Tim brought good snacks. Water crisps. Pickle chips. Rolled corn tortillas. Chips, chili, lime flavored. These yeah. are good. Oh! If you're like me and you like a little bit of kick in your life, I'm a big, I'm a big hot guy. I'm a spice guy. I, I like probably, that. probably have the hottest palate in the friend group. That's not good at all. So, that's easy money. Back by popular demand, vanilla milky. Mochi. Next, strawberry licorice. Oh yeah! Hey, everybody baby. loves the strawberry licorice. Yogurt covered pretzels. These are a classic. Oh wow, this went hard. This is a good haul. Next, I got these because I want y'all to try them. They're just granola bars, but they have a choke. Oh. So I want you guys to see what's been ruining my life. Remember when I bragged about how much water I drank? I'm behind today. I've only drank one, so this is my second. I'm gonna go return those platform Uggs really quick, and then I might stop by this cute little jewelry store in downtown. It's kind of by the post office, and I saw this ring on their website, and I've been eyeballing it for a while. It's so cool. It's like this like little chain link ring, and I want to start wearing like a bunch of rings again. So I wanted to stop by and see if they had any of my size. If they don't, then you know, so be it. That's fine but I just wanted to stop by and see. So anyways, let's go. Yeah, yeah, I'm driving the truck today. Bronson, driving the truck always makes me feel like a country girl. But honestly, his truck is much nicer than the Jeep, so. I don't mind, I don't mind driving it at all. You know what, I'm actually gonna go to the Joy place first because it closes earlier, so I'm gonna do that first. I need to show you guys this new song. It's called Screaming Underwater. I was just singing it, not well. Let me play it for you. <laughs> Okay, I was way too embarrassed to film in there because there was not a lot of people in there. But they ended up having my size. I, it said they were sold out online, but I guess they weren't in stores, so that's very exciting. I went to this little place called Maud and Joe. It's in Bishop Arts in Dallas, if you are from here. This ring is like a dupe of like a very, very, very expensive one. So cute, and it's really a good way to like mix metals because it's gold and silver, which I think is just so cute. It's like this. I don't know if you can see, but it's like gold and silver and has these little rings, chains connecting it. It kind of didn't fit me in the store, but I was like, I don't want to shove it on my finger in front of them and then not be able to get it off. So I'm like kind of working it on there now. It's kind of tight. That's low key kind of tight, but it's really cute. Okay, that is so stinking cute on. Yeah, that's that's tight on there. I don't want to get it stuck, you know? Let me try it on this hand. Oh wait, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, maybe I'll wear it on this hand. <gasps> it's so cute! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. That is so cute, I love that. Wow, okay, okay! She cutie! She's cutie! Oh my gosh, okay, I love that. Go, go, go! 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 
Go! Go! Wow! It feels like we're breathing underwater. This is so crooked. Got these little heaters for winter. They are from at home and we're so excited to use them. Don't they look luxe? Perm boy. Uh, You're so cute. Thanks. We're doing that roast, just sandwiches tonight. Ideally, I would put mayo on this, but we don't have any, so. Here you go, you got a bread and meat sandwich. Anyways, I'm gonna end off this vlog here because I'm about to sit down and eat dinner. We're just gonna spend some time together, so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps my channel. Hopefully this was better quality than the last vlog. Fingers crossed, if it's not, I'm gonna blow a gadget, so. Anyways, love y'all, see you next time. Oh, <laughs>